Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I want to show you guys uh, this awesome new, uh, it's an alternative to the Bionic Bootstrap. It is called Safe Strap, and what it does is it allows you to uh, boot into a second ROM uh, that's installed on the pre install partition. Uh, so you can dual boot, you can have what they call uh, the unsafe boot and that would be uh, that would be your ROM your main ROM for your phone and then the second ROM would be uh, on the safe strap uh, so you can boot into two separate ROMs all at the same time this would be awesome for you know testing out new ROMs you can stay with your stock rooted on the main ROM and then uh, check out your uh, second ROM that's on the safe strap uh, without having to go into any boot loops or anything like that uh, it's great for testing out ROMs like the new Cyanogen Mod 7 that's out. It's still in beta. Uh, you can actually put that ROM, which is incomplete, on that second system and uh, run two separate ROMs simultaneously. So if you head to the link in the description, I've got the new safe strap uh, download link there. Uh, go ahead and download that to your phone. Once it's downloaded, uh, make sure that you uninstall the Bionic Bootstrap uh, before you move any further here. Uninstall that because... The safe strap will not work when that's on your phone. So you'll look for the safe strap and you want to install recovery. So go ahead and click install recovery and it will quickly install that. Okay, and then the way that you boot into safe strap is by uh, rebooting your phone. So just turn the power off. and turn it back on so you have like a little 10 second splash screen here where you can enter into safe strap recovery and so here's the splash screen all I have to do now is click the menu button and it's gonna boot me into safe strap recovery okay so I have several options here um, obviously the first thing that you'll want to do is go to uh, back up and restore and I'm scrolling through with up and down volume and the power button and you'll want to select backup and go ahead and get a backup of your main ROM that you run in the unsafe bootstrap okay so you'll see up top it says CWM based safe strap recovery safe system is disabled so right now I'm on my unsafe system that's where my main ROM is installed uh, to change that I can go down to safe boot menu and select that and toggle the safe system. Go ahead and select that and go to yes, enable safe system. And once that's enabled, I will just go ahead and enable it here real quick. And it's going to back up the system automatically so that it can recover it whenever you go back. So while it does that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause. We'll be right back. Okay, so when that finishes, yeah, you will now be in the safe system menu. Uh, so you can actually go back. And you can uh, install a ROM from here. If you do not install a ROM in uh, the safe system uh, and you restart your phone, then you're going to end up with a black screen, which is okay. You can just power down by pulling the battery and power back up and hit the menu when the splash screen comes up. Um, and then come in here and install... A ROM. So you would just install the ROM like normal. Uh, you would select fact, uh, wipe data factory reset and you go down to yes. I'm not going to do that now. I already have a ROM installed on the safe strap. Uh, Cyanogen Mod 7. And then you'll wipe cache. And you'll select that. Um, all of the ROM installation instructions are different so just pay attention to uh, the ROM install instructions. Uh, so then you'll go into safe boot menu. I'm sorry, no, you won't. You will. Uh, you will go to install zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card, and then uh, wherever you have it stored. I normally keep mine on the internal SD card under download. Uh, that's where it will be if you download the ROM directly to your phone or whatever mod. And from there you can flash a ROM. So the one that I installed was CM4 uh, Droid Bionic Alpha, and you would just install that. Once it's all installed, you'll go back, 
and reboot the system now. I'm not going to do that um, because I really don't want to boot back into a Cyanogen Mod 7. Now I want to go back to my main ROM. So to do that, I would just go down to Safe Boot Menu and toggle the safe system. So now I'll go back to my unsafe system. Um, this has all the features of Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, you should be able to install any ROM that you want as your main ROM from the unsafe system. Uh, if safe system is disabled, that's your main phone ROM. If safe system is enabled, then that is, of course, your second ROM. And you can go back and forth between those, uh, which is really neat. Uh, it'll come in handy if you want to help any of the developers to test ROMs, which I will probably uh, use it for that. Or if you just want to try out a beta ROM, or if you just like two ROMs a whole lot, and uh, you want to run two ROMs at once, that's a good way to do it. Uh, but guys, this is Safe Strap. It's an alternative to the Bionic Bootstrap, uh, and it could be the only way uh, to get CM7 and MIUI and all of those ROMs uh, that require bootloader access. It may be the only way around uh, our locked bootloaders on the Droid Bionic. It definitely is the only way around for now. Uh, so you guys can think hash, uh, hash code for that. He's the one that discovered this first on the Droid 3 and he supported it to the Droid Bionic uh, so that we can take advantage of that. Uh, guys, you can check out my website, droidmoderx.com, for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android phone. And, of course, uh, subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E, not a 3. Thanks, guys.